Ars22, same name, just no underscore. Anyway, today I am with the beautiful Emily. Hello. We are actually now engaged. Before you met us on the channel, it was just... <laughs> boyfriend, girlfriend. Boyfriend, girlfriend. But we are now engaged. We got engaged on Christmas. <laughs> um, pull up a chair. Sure thing. On the side. And even though they can't see you and stuff, oh, right where chat is, there's is also part of the... A screen. Like, that is camera totally screen and okay. stuff, so... Okay, so today, we have these things. I got them off Amazon. They're called Miracle Berries. She looked them up. She can explain what they're, what they are. Um, they have an enzyme, I believe, or is it a protein? I think it's a protein, but this miracle protein, um, I do not remember the name of it. I think it's called like Miracolin or something. Um, you let it dissolve on your tongue and the proteins actually get absorbed somewhat in the taste buds and they cause, um, sour things to taste sweet and sweet things to taste sour, so. On the table behind us, we have an assortment of sour foods, candies, and a couple drinks such as Voltage, uh, Limonata, Milkis, which is the Korean, um, it's like their equivalent to Ramune, but it's milk soda. Regular Mountain Dew. Ramune, strawberry Ramune. One thing that I forgot. Yeah. Two things I forgot, actually. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not a professional Twitch streamer yet. <laughs> well, there goes the butter on the floor. Whoops. Sorry about that. It's just a small weight. We have a lime and a, and lemon. a lemon. Oh my goodness, we're actually going to do the real And lemon. a knife and a plate. <laughs> we did this because we saw this in a previous YouTuber's channel. Sorry. Um, that supposedly, uh, when you eat the raw fruits, it is better to eat fresh ones compared to the juices that are in the bottles. Because the bottles do give you the exact flavor of the fruit, which is cheating, but it also has the plastic taste of the container. So. If you want to see more professional people do this, <laughs> um, me. go to the Game Grumps, go to Rhett and Link, Go to Tyler Tube. They've all done it. <laughs> They're probably better at this than us, but we're just trying to be good sports and to figure things out. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you want to taste test a couple <laughs> things beforehand, just to see how sour they are, or just go straight to the berries? Let's try the berries. I think I am familiar with most of our products. We have Swedish fish. Um, I forget the name of this, but Gummy Factory Gummies, which is pretty similar to the Spanish licorice brand. I forget what your. I'm sorry. Um, we have Sweet Tart, sweet extra tart's sour. Sweet extreme, yes, extreme um, sour. Then we have Extreme Sour Warheads, Toxic Waste Barrel Candies with the, uh, yes. And then we even have sour, sour ICU Cyclops Jawbreakers and stuff. We have Sour Punch Hearts because it's near Valentine's Day and that's all I could find by punch. <laughs> sour Skittles, Haribo String Things. Uh, Airheads Extremes, regular Skittles just because I wanted to see the difference. There might not be much, but the acid. It's supposed to counteract the acid is supposedly what's going on. It's so. supposed to counteract bitter and sweet, but bitter and sour foods to be The sourness sweet. is actually the acid that is Put, placed on most of these produced candies, though that's that's what it is. So, yes. if it counters the acid, that's the prime goal. Tripping. <coughs> Excuse me. Flavor tripping. Oh, it's a ticket. It's like a plane ticket. Flavor oh, tripping. Oh yes, flavor tripping. Healthy inside, happy outside. It looks like a legitimate, like, drugstore pill tablet, pill case. Oh my goodness. It does. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Right. Let this dissolve fully on your tongue. It could take up to several, to a minute or two to dissolve fully. Yes. I've heard people say that these taste like dirt, but I don't know. 
It takes its time to <laughs> dissolve. Sorry for quiet while it's dissolving. Oh, we have one viewer. Hello! Hello! Welcome to my channel. Or my Twitch channel. <laughs> Kind of fruity, but it's mm -hmm. kind of kind of tropical fruity. It's a little bitter. Which one do you think you would want to try first? Out of what we have on the table. Either the warheads or the hazardous waste or the fruit. Just to prepare them while this is uh, dissolving in the mouth still. <laughs> it's so weird because it's in tablet form. Um, you actually can feel the texture, it's a bit granular, and when it melts on your tongue, it kind of feels fizzy, like when you're eating those, uh, carbonation candies that are like sodas. Those zots? With like the foamy insides, like, like the second you bite into it, just foams? Can you feel it? Uh, a little bit, yeah. It's so bizarre. I'm just grabbing the trash for the lemon peel when it's done. Mm. It's almost there, but not quite. We're literally halfway there. Oh. Hot? Hi. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> um. Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> Surprisingly outside right now, I think it's like 34 degrees outside. I believe so. So. And inside, it's 65, but still, it's not. I think the they warmest. didn't mean that in a literal. I know, I know. <laughs> he's, he's being a bit of a smart aleck. Sorry about that. I don't want this to thresh the floor because it's in the floor, <laughs> kind of. It feels acidic. A little bit. Maybe that's just where I cut my tongue from that jawbreaker earlier. But I can feel it on my tongue sometimes and it feels like there are little fissures in my mouth and it's catching all the little fissures. Like, you know like when you don't know you have a paper cut? But when you rub hand sanitizer into your hands you can feel the paper cut suddenly? There's yeah. That. It's 14 there? What? 14 Celsius. Oh, goodness. Jeez, that's... Well, I guess Celsius at zero degrees is freezing. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I'm sorry. We're, we're sorry. We're from the U.S. We're give us one sec American in Utah. We're give us one sec while we figure out the we hey, we Google, run by Fahrenheit. So what is 14 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? Hey Google, what is 14 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? <laughs> Lucky. No, we're we're in um the U.S., the United States of America. Um, we're in somewhere called Utah. It's just a it's a nothing state, honestly. Oh, the food items. Um, we have a lot of like sour candies and stuff behind us. You're from Australia? Okay, I'm sorry, but color me jealous. And we're trying these. Sorry, I'm responding to the guy who's wondering. It's 57 what the right food now. Degrees is, what the food we're trying is. We're trying these miracle berries is that change the color of sour foods to. Oh, you're in Cali. Oh, <laughs> sorry. It's that's still that's cold that's, in Cali. Um, that is cold. Yeah, but I am so jealous right now. Is yours dissolved? It is freezing right here. It is. It's freezing. freezing. It's about roughly 20 right now. These things right now are high as 36. There's no way. Is yours dissolved, dear? Just about. It doesn't feel like, uh, it doesn't feel like it's 36. But, but we still haven't had any snow whatsoever. We've had just yeah. enough to touch down on the ground, but it melts. It feels like 14. I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> Are you really going to go for it? Mine still hasn't even dissolved all the way Mine's yet. dissolved. Oh, I'm jealous. Yo. Does it work? I can, it's, it's basically like eating lemonade. 
Does it work? Oh! I straight up just oh. lemonade. Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh! Dude, that is awesome! It's just eating lemonade! I'm scared. <laughs> Mine still hasn't even fully dissolved yet. They're these um, M berries. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna take the seeds out because I don't want to choke on the seeds. Dude, that is strange. Hmm. I wonder why mine's taking longer. My lips are kind of broken open on the bottom, so that stings. That's oh, that's okay. a sour, but that's because it's acid. Silly. Citric acid, sorry. <laughs> I forget what it's called. It's, I swear there's a term for this. It's like miracolin or something. So let me look it up. I don't even know how that's possible. Um, these things like coat all the receptors in your mouth and like change them not change them but like they coat all the receptors in your like all the all the taste buds in your mouth they just coat them with like a coat of special it's an something. enzyme it's special an enzyme, enzyme or um or it's a protein let me look it up again it has an actual name Pardon me, I'm very bad at some of these. <laughs> just about, just about. I don't know. If why you it's bite into it once and like break it, it dissolves. It is called miracolin. Um, it is called miracolin. I did look it up. Um, miracolin has um low sugar content, and it is a glycoprotein. So what it is is glyco is part of glucose family anything that is like glycol or glucose related <laughs> he probably does so with glycol what it does is um that's sugar yeah and with the glycol protein it counteracts the sugar that would make sense so anything that you eat that is sour would suddenly taste sweet and anything that is sweet should in turn taste sour it's like reverse psychology so he just literally ate a lemon with zero effect other than he has a few broken cracks on his lips. <clears throat> I'm going to... I'm going to go for it. It's starting to wear off a little bit, so I might have to pop another one in in a minute, but... That's terrifying. Okay. <laughs> you can taste it. it's supposed to be what? sour, but it's <laughs> not sour. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, this works. Also, yes. This works. We have a cat. There, there is a cat behind us. I apologize. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I am baffled right now. I'm literally not even joking. She's, she's the fact giver. This is scary. It's not there, isn't it? Like, there's no flavor. No, there's flavor. Well, there, right. well there's flavor, but there's no sour. There's no sourness to this. You can tell that there's supposed to be sour, there's but there's no, there's no sour. sour. What? <laughs> How, okay, we what? just looked into the science of this, but I'm still questioning how this is possible. <laughs> You've got to try this. They're called Miracle Berry Tablets. You have to find them through places like Amazon. Ah. But, oh, ah. it's okay. Careful with the cat. You, oh my gosh. This is like candy. Stop clawing my shirt. <laughs> Your claw stuck in my shirt. I cannot believe this actually works. Oh, thank you. Her name is Ari. She got zero chill right now. Zero. Right, um, look up. <laughs> his mom is gone, and his mom is literally the cat's favorite person. So while she's been gone, the cat has been pouty from what I've heard. Yes. Pouty, pouty. All right. So. Um, <laughs> before it wears off. Oh, gosh. No, I want to taste another bite of this lemon. Do it. As I say, it does tend to wear off a little bit, but... Only a little. Holy smokes! I'm gonna try... This is amazing! I taste gummy, that's it. It's like it goes straight through the acid, huh? So, glycoproteins. Who knew? Oh, you're fine. Um, you're fine. I, I've had that happen before where like what? If you forget a, an account, you have to have like a new um a new account built or a new password. 
Um, I did the same thing with my, um, pardon, you're gonna have to forgive me for a sec, my Instagram, my Instagram. I've had the same account for a while, but I've changed up the names a couple times because I either forget passwords or I have to retrieve them. Oh, it's so annoying. So my Instagram, I go by emmyfint6, so... Oh, <laughs> that's clever though. That's clever. Kudos for being smart. I like that. I like that a lot. Boy. Yeah, mine used to be um, psychedelic tembo, I think, because tembo is Swahili for elephant. And of course, you know, I, I used to like, well, I, I've never done drugs, but I used to be really fascinated by psychedelic things like art or actual psychedelic trips. And so I would follow people's accounts for that. And then the account, um, somebody else had another similar name, Psychedelic something or other. So unfortunately I lost my account because when I logged out and lost my password, Psychedelic Tembo was retaken by someone else. So, you want to try the lemon kitty? And uh, it sounds dorky, but Psychedelic Tembo 1 through 6, those were all taken. So I just decided to go by Emifint 6. So... The cat does not want to try the lemon. <laughs> I bet not. You've got to try this with the miracle in. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's my natural hair. Honestly, that's the surprising part. He just watched me put it up. It's a bit of a pain in the butt, and I always tell people with curly hair, um, we get that a lot. Like people are like, "Oh, you have nice hair," or, "Oh, I bet it doesn't take a lot to style." And trust me. It does, and it's a pain in the butt to brush through sometimes. <laughs> so terrible. Terrible. You can throw the lemon away if you're... Oh no. Oh no, I'm not done. So, the reason why these are sour again is it has a type of acid on it. Hyaluronic acid, I think. So, supposedly the, miracle, the Miracolin will eat right through that. So, I'm going to go for it and see if it actually works. I think it does. It's just a gummy. Well, yeah, no, like, um, it, you can taste it's, it's weird because there's a sensation where you feel like it should be sour. It should be, and you can tell it should be, but it doesn't feel right when you're eating it because it's so sweet. It's like you can't even taste the, the acid, the sourness on it. It's ridiculous. Sour than sweet. Those are just sweet. Just sweet. <laughs> Seriously, right? I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. I say, I'm sorry. I can't um, read and I can't go forward. Sour is 0% reason. Just hacks. Which is so true. So true right now. Oh. <laughs> Cat got zero chill. Yes. Cat got zero chill. Ari, baby. Why you gotta be such a pain in the butt? Purple, blue, or green? Blue. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We can pick those up after. As I like, wow. <laughs> everything's okay. We're, everything's <laughs> breaking behind us. <laughs> We're so, huh. Again, you can tell it's supposed to be sour. You get the sensation that it's supposed to be sour, but you can't taste the you sour. You can't taste the sour. What on earth? You do. You get the sensation of it. Like you can feel it. I don't know if that makes sense, but there's a feeling of it. But it doesn't taste like anything other than the flavor of the actual candy so what are we eating blue raspberry right now i think so well i think we're eating whatever blue the blue sweet tart is i think it's blue raspberry i'm assuming but you can't taste the hyaluronic yeah. acid i need you to take the cat for a moment <laughs> <gasps> no but we so badly wanted to what oh my gosh I can't believe it was just over in southern Utah. Oh, I'm so sorry. The monolith. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, he says, oh, yeah. So sorry, I, I, I read news reports about it. Oh, my goodness. No, but that was such a big deal. Did you? Did you? I am so jealous. Oh, you should, you should post that or something in the comments where we can see it. I... Envy you right now. Envy you. That is so cool. I have um, a friend who 
He's an older gentleman. Yeah, I'm gonna pop another one of these in oh. just because it's starting. To I have a friend who's an older gentleman. He lives up in Oregon, and um, Oregon's known for a lot of their crazy things. This is why I envy. Utah doesn't really have. No offense. If you're from Utah, you know we don't really have a lot of stuff here. Sometimes I wish we did because I've had people that say, "Oh, the New Mexico." They do now because at least New Mexico has meow wolf. We don't have anything really going for us right now. But, um, pardon me, that was a little bit of a tangent. Um, my friend up in Oregon, they always have really cool things like the Roswell aliens or, or the naked bike rides. And, and I mean, literally, there are nudists on bikes, yeah? Well, Sasquatch, I know, oof. <laughs> Sasquatch was a really big thing. And at one point, as soon as the monolith came up, I mean, what, there was one that happened to be like in Machu Picchu at one point too, and one in Venezuela, one in Romania. Well, somebody decided it would be hilarious to take a picture, a prank picture of Sasquatch and the monolith. And I thought, of course they would, of course, of all places, in Oregon. <laughs> Ooh, okay, yeah, we'll have to look at that. Thank you for letting me know. If you could, like, if you have, like, an Instagram or something where... Oh, he says it's Google. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, or she. Sorry, you you say Google, so... We will. We'll have to look into that. That is amazing. Honestly, I'm so jealous. All right, before they wear off. We do have our own little... Oh, gotcha. Oh, that's, that's still okay. I wish we could see what you look like. You can see us though, so. <laughs> Are you sure? Before they wear off. Before the berries wear off. Oh gosh. I'm gonna go for lime slices. That tastes like candy. Dude, yes! That's, this is ridiculous. Yes! Yes, please. Please do. We will yes. literally follow you. If you want us to give you a follow, we will. Yes. We don't, I don't mean that to sound creepy. Like no. if, you want, if you want followers, if, if or you want us to follow you, yeah, or, yeah. or yeah. subscribe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Again. Okay. Once it hits the back of your throat, it's it's sour. It's sour. Once it but hits it's the back so of your throat, but weird. Cause your tongue, it's just, it's like candy. Literally, this is so weird. It's even on my lips, and my lips don't burn. This is what but I if mean. you just swallow the juice immediately, it hits the back of your throat and then it's it has sour. an aftertaste, yeah. This, I feel like this is what a good Mountain Dew should taste like. Speaking of Mountain Dew, no, I think it's that time. No, it is not. I dare you to go first. Yeah, you go first. I have an open can already. No, I think that's. Oh yeah, I have an open can too, but I was thinking the fresh carbonation would be better. Oh, thank you for posting the link. Heck yes. I would click it now, but if we if I do, it'll will it, bump it, us it, out? it will it will close the stream. Oh, so. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will. We will we, after we, the video. We will, yeah, we will after the video. For right. sure, for sure. That's a promise. You can count on that. Yes. You're gonna go for it, dude. It's there's not like bad. no citrusy taste anymore. It's yeah, it's not At bad. Least I can't taste this. No, it just stuff. it just tastes like straight sugar though. Yeah. It's, it's not bad, but it like changes the flavor. See it later. Feels cool. You yeah. <laughs> Thank Wait, you for the viewer, follow. Second... Oh my gosh! Thank, Thank you, you for the follow, man. Oh my gosh! This does. It's just straight sugar. For real, like I am. This is what they look like once you get them. And if you just go on like Amazon or something and look up Mberry, you can buy them on Amazon. And <laughs> we're, gonna... we're not sponsored by them, by the no, way, no, but yeah. Amazon or Mberry. This one works at Amazon. I work for Amazon, but we carry so many things, it's not even funny anymore. I just, I Did don't you even. Yes, do thank one? you. Just to... I, I mean, it sounds weird, but I don't even know where to begin. Like, there are so many things we carry that I don't know what we have anymore. <laughs> Ooh, without sponsor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not sponsored. That'd be awesome if we were sponsored for the oh, first video. I but... wish, I wish. <laughs> oh I know, my gosh. I know one of my old 
channels that I did with a couple of friends. A couple of friends. Not to do I, probably sponsored one of his videos back way back when. Yes, the trauma for the trauma from productions. Right be right before everyone broke up from that channel. Oh no. They sent us shirts. Those yes. trauma unicorn shirt. Yeah. In the Bumpy logo, but then I couldn't give them to anybody because the group was just out. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I can't read the chat from this far away, so I have to kind of scoot forward. <laughs> okay. Um, it's got a funny backstory, actually, his uh, whole Tommy Unicorn scenario. Back in 2015, 2015, I was longboarding through a parking lot near my house. I feel like I'm going to burp, so I'm going to burp <laughs> in the middle of the story. I apologize. There, there it is. is. <laughs> it was a Sorry. wimpy burp, but anyway, <laughs> excuse me. I was hit by a car while on my longboard. And I was given a traumatic brain injury and a 3% chance to live. They literally had to do something. I looked this up. She, she, she looked it up today. She looked I did. Look, well, I know what it is, but I had never heard of the medical term before. It is literally called an emergency decompressing or decompression um, cranio, cranio, craniotonomy. Sorry. Anyway, the reason for it, if you've heard of this before, was the head blow from the car hit the windshield struck him so hard that the blow to his head caused his brain to swell up. So they literally had to do an emergency procedure where I don't even know if they tried any of the other solutions they had for it. I don't know if you can see that's the his scar head scar. And stuff. They can see that. He has a few heads. Right here. That's from a Yeah, yeah. They really they did a big number on him. And um, uh, most people with the injury that I have, a uh, traumatic brain injury, don't survive. Don't survive, and if they do, they can't speak well, they can't walk well, they can't do a lot of stuff well. I looked it up, and statistically, he's in the top percentile of. I'm what? in the top like two, three percent of people or something. Or? Seven. Seven percent. Um, twenty-seven percent of the people that recover more like him still get a rating usually of a uh, two to three. Which is not good because that's the part where people really can't speak or... <laughs> he does, he does. It's incredible. So he said that the right frontal lobe is now dying off as Both well. Both frontal lobes are dying Yeah, off. oh, but your left one is already destroyed. From what I've heard from his aunt, his left one is already completely destroyed and started to shut down. His right lobe is starting to die off. So what is cool, and I'm sorry, that sounds weird, not to be nerdy, but... um. His right hemisphere, just the whole right half of his brain took over for the entire brain function. So he is literally a walking, talking miracle right now. Okay, um, I am Emily. I am Jacob. I have, um, if you do wish to like read up or whatever about my story, uh, there's a Facebook page that my aunt set up called Jacob, Jacob Bueller, Bueller Updates, Updates page. J-A-K-O-B. -A -A -B. -A -B, not C, but, and then that's my whole story from basically beginning up to, up to current date. Like, the next time I have a surgery, which may be in another month or two or whatever. We're hoping. We are going, that my yeah. aunt is going to post information on there. So, yeah, he's going to get, um, if this sounds really familiar, if you've heard of plastic surgeries before, you probably assume of plastic surgery. I looked further into it, and it's not always called plastic surgery because of plastic. It's because it's also referred to as plasty for plastic materials utilized in some of these reconstructive surgeries. So therefore, I guess I could have put this video underneath information as well. <laughs> true, true. But so you've heard of the term rhinoplasty, right? That means nose, but Holy plastic shit. nose. So for him, he's going to get a cranioplasty in the next month or so. Because if you've seen, like he showed you the head scars, he's got little soft spots around his cranium as well. And it's really trippy. So the cranioplasty is going to be a... Well, we're not sure what material is going to be used for this process. But they're going to basically uncap his skull and give him a whole replacement cap for the top part of his skull, his cranium. Real quick. So he's going to get a new dome. Yeah. That's cool. These, you can totally taste the sour still. But it's nowhere near That's as sour? strong as it should be. Oh jeez! I just put it in, and the second again, the second it hits the back of your throat, you're just yeah. I know, I know. That's what I said. I never would have fathomed, ever, because they literally. The, I looked up the facts. Pardon me, but it says that they take about seven 
alternatives before they do what they did to him. And my surgeon the last... just... Sorry, go ahead. Um, not yet. Not yet. Um, we are engaged. Yes. So, um, it's my grandmother's ring. I'm not flipping you off. No, it's his <laughs> ring finger. Sorry. <laughs> um... Thank you. Thank you. We really appreciate that. A lot, really. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I can't imagine having a... Oh, how we met? We used to work at Amazon we, together. I used to work at Amazon with her. And... He was a packer. I was a sorter. And I'm sorry if these are really weird terms or job positions. They're not that difficult to understand if you've been to a facility. But if you haven't, um, Here. it's really not that hard. Um, sorry, to dummy it down, because this is the, my further way of understanding, it looks like a mail room. Oh, <laughs> Thank you! You're so sweet! Thank you, yes. Uh, Here, so, you eat, you I try will. that, I will Oh no, I want to tell, I want to okay. tell them. So, sorry, anyway, <laughs> so well, they have these really cute, well not cute, they have these walls, these units that look like mailing slots, yeah? And with these mailing slots, these are where our shipments or orders go for customers if they're smaller but high demand orders. And so what they do is, um, my position as a sorter was I would get people's items in one at a time and I would literally have to put them in these weird mailing slots, one item at a time, until a shipment was complete. And once it was completed, they have these blinking lights that coordinate with our computer consoles on the fronts of our machines. And we push the buttons that match the coordinations of the machines, or the coordinates. And once you push the button, you're supposed to push the shipment through to the back side of the wall. That indicates to the packer that their shipments are done. And the packer has to turn around, and their computer thereby tells them what their coordinates are for their shipments. And then they build boxes, and unload the boxes, and put the uh, items into it. And sometimes you're required to fill them with dunnage, sometimes not. But um, it was so funny because on rare occasions we would work on the same walls together. So I would be on the front side of his wall where I couldn't see him all the time, but I could see him through my wall. And then sometimes we'd either go on breaks together, but it was really rare that I think he and I actually sat on breaks together. But we'd work together all the time. And it was so much fun. So much fun. And then after I got fired, he, he um, meet right. I, one of our uh, conjoint friends, one of our friends that we both have. From who? I, from Amazon. I saw him on Facebook and I was like, you know what? I think I know that girl that's on his Facebook page. So I friended her, turned out to be Emily here. <laughs> and then one thing led to another. We started talking, we started hanging out more, and then... We went on a few dates. I asked her out and we went on a few... We, well, the first date was at a park. We had Panda Express. At a pavilion. At a pavilion, That's yes. how simple it was that it just got the ball rolling. That's yeah. What, yeah. And then, I forgot, I'm sorry, but I think I forgot what our second date was. You forgot everything was. else? No, I uh, forgot our second date. I can but. tell you, I can tell So we went to the pavilion, and we had Panda, and then our second time out, we went to another restaurant by my house. I, I can't help it. I'm sorry. We're, I'm we're chubby to folks. another one of these. That's fine. We are some chubby folks. We might not look it, but we are chubby. So pardon, because that's just the way it is. You like good hearty food, you're more than welcome to chill out with us here. We eat lots of junk. Um, <laughs> We're going to be eating more junk and <laughs> taste testing more sodas and stuff in yeah. the future. Just so you guys are aware. Oh, <laughs> you're so cute. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard of Five Guys, but that was our second date. We went to a Five Guys and it was by my house. So we, we live about two counties away from each other. So it's about a 20 minute drive and unfortunately right now I'm not, I swear I'm not lazy. I just used to be really scared of driving. I've had bad- Five guys! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my gosh. But um, <laughs> yeah, so he, he drove to my place and then we hung out a couple more dates and then what, it was like our 7th or 17th time together because I went to the Midwest for my birthday, um, also because my grandma had passed in September of 2019. Excuse me. But please. September of 2019, my cousin was going to college, so we had her cremated. I know, honestly, because it would be better to. No, sorry, it would have been better to have her cremated anyway. 
because I don't think in the embalming state she would last as long for us to actually have her ceremony. Um, <laughs> you know, in June of 2020. Whew, sorry, anyway. So, <laughs> so we had her um, ceremony in June of 2020 in Wisconsin and she was placed in the same um, mausoleum as my grandfather, which we think is really sweet because my mom and my aunt and everybody joked around they were really close, really, really close and it's probably the way my grandpa would have wanted things to go. So he, he was embalmed and he was in, encrypted in a tomb in the mausoleum and then we've got my my grandma's little urn by the bottom of his coffin by his feet but it's it's better for both of them honestly because she spent oh gosh i want to say like 17 to 20 years without him and it was really rough really rough so that and her health conditions kept deteriorating so be, by the time she was passing it's probably better for her anyway if she were still living it would she would have been in a really rough place uh, sorry no it's okay they had her in um they had her in a nursing home, but they had her under hospice care and she uh, fell out of her bed and she didn't just fracture a hip, she broke it like almost clean through and they couldn't do anything to repair her pelvic bone. They would have had to have put her under for surgery and they don't know if the, you know, again, they didn't know if she would actually survive the mortality rate. So. They, they figured, you know, she might not stand a chance and they had to notify my aunt and my aunt called my mom and cried and said, you know, we don't know, but she was lucky. She was lucky. They were up at our family cabin in uh, Minnesota, no, Michigan, sorry. They were up at our family cabin in Michigan and she had just gotten the phone call and she managed to make it back home from the family cabin in Michigan to the nursing home where my grandma was at in about 50 minutes flat. And she had about 20 minutes with my grandmother, and then that was it, my grandmother passed away. So it was really sweet, it was really troubling times. And so I felt bad because I spent like a month away from this guy, but for good reason. And it couldn't have, it couldn't have gone any better, honestly, and I feel, it sounds awkward, it really does. But we know my grandma's in a better place, and we got reconnected, and things just, I feel like things are turning out the way they should be, so... So, <laughs> so I couldn't be any happier. He was the one who surprised me because he proposed first in secret. So we were technically engaged, but his family did not know, and neither did my family. But I did. I did kind of confide in my parents. Long story short, we came out together as official on, on Christmas. Chris on December twenty fifth, twenty twenty. So I would, never mind. no, you're fine. I was gonna say try that before the barrier oh. wears off. You can take, you can tell, you can, it's you can still it's sour, sour, but it's not as sour as it would be. No, that is so true. What is this, black cherry? Um, you took the thing out. I think it was oh. black cherry, though. Watermelon. Oh. You're so sweet. Thank you. You're Thank so you. Sweet. Thank you. So. You don't want to split the whole thing. <laughs> Oh, it is sour though. It is, it is still sour. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna take a small. I'm gonna take a small green boy. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, whenever you do make yours, I wish you luck and I wish you. Please happiness. tell us about it. Yeah, if you if you find us again, we would love to hear your story. Yes. Honestly, everybody's a miracle. Everybody's. Um, I'm not gonna lie. This guy is actually my first boyfriend, so that's even funnier that we turned out engaged because <laughs> chances, I felt bad, but I, chances were really slim. I really had low self-esteem for a really long time, and I didn't think I was going to go anywhere very fast, so, um, excuse you. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Yes. Um, I just, I was going to give up on dating. I was. And then he found me. And so that was a really big game changer right there. So... That, <laughs> that changed a lot. You're so cute. You're the cute one. No, I don't think so. I think this person right this here. This person is cute. <laughs> it is. It is, isn't it? <laughs> oh my goodness. I set mine aside. 
I am. I'm gonna. Do you have to download the account, Twitch, or, or do you have to, you have to app? download Twitch to watch it? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I am going to find or view or follow you. However, this works. I will. Oh, sorry. Hold on. <laughs> um, while she does that, I will be right back. Where are you going? One second. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> He did! He really did! Oh, are you sure? Are you sure? I, I swear it was my saving grace. Um, there were a couple times I really, I don't know what you would call it, but I had self-doubt. And <laughs> I wasn't really a rigid person to begin with. Um, my, my nicknames have like really weird meanings. So in high school, I was fighting obesity, which is ironic because I'm chubby again. But last year, I actually lost a lot of weight. It was it was a lot of hard work, but I lost it. I ended up sadly gaining a lot of it back. But sorry, in high sorry, school, sorry. I'm sorry. In high school, I was literally um, challenging obesity, and it was really embarrassing because um, a lot of people thought I was funny because I knew I was fat. I was subconscious about being fat. But I just also kind of didn't want to admit that I was aware I was fat. I was oblivious to it and I thought, oh, okay, I don't look so bad. But in all reality, I saw my graduation pictures and I was I was pretty bad. Excuse me. I was I was pretty bad and it was sad. So um I was oblivious to it. And if I wasn't oblivious, I was really ignorant. And if there was one thing I could do in the past to like fix myself, I probably would have smacked the crap out of me. <laughs> get your head, get, you know, get your head in the game. Get your head on your shoulders. But oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. So that, that was my big turnaround. So I used to get called Emily the Elephant all the time because I was so darn fat, and it, people thought it was funny. I was Emily, but. Emily the elephant, you know, and so, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it stuck for a really long time. And so, um, we changed that around and elephants, you know, honestly, they're a good thing. If you think about it, I know that sounds mean, but elephants are amazing. They're beautiful. They, um, they have really good wits about them. They're knowledgeable. I found out one of my favorite things about elephants is, um, what do you call it? They, they lead the herd, the, the leaders of the herd. Oh, you're so sweet. Um, they're so cute because um, the more childish the elephant is, the more deemed they are as a good leader. Because the whole point is in types of like severe weather storms, like in the safari, the leaders of the pack will play games to distract the herd and lead them away mm -hmm. from worrying. And the more they play around and they find safe zones, the leaders will either like dance or mimic things or I don't know, but they play around and the herd will get distracted and they'll follow the person that's, you know, leading the pack because they're doing like clownish things, which is cool because then, you know, the herd is uh, safe and they're away from things like falling trees or again, tornadoes. I don't really think they have hurricanes in the safari, but they, you know, they're out of severe weather storms and I just think it's amazing the things that elephants do, what they're capable of. I would not be ashamed. I used to be, but I am seriously unashamed of being called Emily the elephant anymore. As a matter of fact, they're my favorite animal. So if you want to like talk about turning things around, a, a negative to a positive, Emily the elephant is like a really good thing for me. I don't know why, but it's just it's my thing. So that's why I go by Emmy Fint on uh, on Instagram. I'm Emmy Fint six. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You're amazing. You are amazing. Please don't ever forget that. Keep that in mind that you're amazing as well. <clears throat> I really appreciate the kudos. <laughs> so, Look at chat. I wish I, uh... Whoa! He's on! <laughs> What's up, dog? <laughs> so now you're commenting? Alright, so now I am both on the laptop and... On the, uh, the phone. Live. <laughs> so... I can better reply to comments right here. That is Trauma so Unicorn neat. Productions is the second, is my secondary Twitch channel for when we have more people that we're going to be doing stuff with in the future. Mm -hmm. So it's like it, it's different 
uh, scenarios in a way. He got bullied when he got back into school. I believe it's because of his traumatic brain injury. So in a way, it's completely different things, but I feel like the more we find similarities, it's like we're not always based on compatibility, but the things we do have compatible is ironic because it's like we're just meant to be. Yeah, Aww. That's, yeah that's my secondary account. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Um. You guys are literally some of the nicest people we've ever met. Thank dude, you. For real. <laughs> are you ready to try this? Yeah. I'm honestly super psyched about it. At the same time, I'm a little nervous because I'm not saying it's going to ruin my favorite drink for me. Finish but this. <laughs> Before, finish, this? finish that. Just, or we can dump it out, I guess, but. Excuse me. Oh, it just tastes like straight up sugar and cough syrup. Oh gosh. I don't know if I care for it as much with the, the Miracle Berry. That was just... Don't do Mountain Dew with the Miracle then. It's gross. Oh, but we have one more Mountain Dew to go. Oh, oh no. Your favorite Mountain Dew. No! <laughs> That's so sad. I love Voltage. Why would you do that? Oh, that, what she just drank, that was uh, the Mountain Dew from earlier. Just regular Mountain just Dew? Just regular Mountain Dew, yeah. Oh my gosh. This is... It was, yeah, just green Mountain I'm, Dew. I'm reading it off of this if you want to like look behind me. It's just too. green Mountain Dew, but it doesn't taste right because this Miracolin, um, it, the Miracolin literally removes all the sour things, and for some odd reason we just discovered Mountain Dew isn't sour. But it eliminates any flavor whatsoever because the flavor is the citrus fruit. Yeah. So it doesn't even taste like limes. It's just straight, straight up sugar. sugar. Yeah. Don't do it. <laughs> this is what we're doing next. It smells right. I'm afraid it's not going to taste right, though. He's going for it. Oh, gosh. What? <laughs> it's, 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 Excuse me. There's the bathroom right there. Yeah. She does not like that, obviously. <laughs> That's gross! That's a no from you? That's so gross, dude! That was just straight up cough syrup! <laughs> don't do it! Don't do it! <laughs> oh, that was nasty! <laughs> yes. Oh, trust me, if you go to Trauma Unicorn Productions on YouTube, we tried, I'm not kidding you, like 32 <laughs> drinks in one sitting. Oh, we ended up peeing a lot. Well, I felt like our kidneys are working overtime. Oh. Yes. Um. Drinking the liquid for pals. <laughs> yes. Yes, my dude. Yes. Right. Let's uh, just get the liquids over with. Might as well. <laughs> when I talk yeah. about a liquid cleanse, this will be it. This the next one is <laughs> the Oh, man. Italia lemonades. And I'm not going to do much now because you don't want to waste it and stuff, you know? Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's a bubbly lemonade. Ooh, it's got a little bit of pulp. I think. That's my mouth. Well? That is really amazing. But it's very sugary. Dude, what the heck? Very sugary. That blue Mountain Dew looks mm -hmm. lovely. Looks lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Do we dare try it? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> oh, he's going for it. <laughs> There's a several second delay on the on the camera oh, behind is. me. But... <laughs> I'm sorry. Every time I laugh because of the warheads, my cheek still hurts because it's like that weird um. The feeling you get when you have a hard candy tucked behind your cheek, but it's amplified because it's sour. Again, we can't taste that they're sour, but you can. Feel them, and every time I laugh, it makes my cheeks hurt. I don't know why, so I'm covering my mouth. I'm afraid I'm gonna like spit it out, and it's gonna fire somewhere. And I don't want to do that. <clears throat> if you want to oh. spit it out, I can no, I put it on a. That does thing. hurt though. Sometimes that does hurt. Here, like. Oh no, it's okay. Spitting out candy is nasty. I'm sorry. I I don't know why, but I I understand when people have specific foods they don't like. But I, I find it really, and I'm sorry if I'm weird, I, I, I did this once when I had a previous date, I bought him mochis, I thought he would have enjoyed them, and he like ate half of them, but then he just spat out these nasty gloves, and it was all the rice paste. 
And I was I couldn't figure out why he would do that, and I was so confused. Does that help? And sorry. he, uh, sorry. He he says that after he like tucks in his cheek, he slaps it. he or she. I'm sorry, I don't know what you. You slap your cheeks. As. That might actually work. It kind of does. <laughs> 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 he kind of did. He kind of did. But it was just weird. He like spat all these like stringy, goopy things in the trash can next to me. And I thought and maybe I did something wrong that offended him. And he said, no, it wasn't It wasn't me. It was the mochis. But I mean, I'm sorry, but that's so... They're bad table manners. Pardon me if that's mean, but I, I mean, I find it when people try to like spit their food in their napkins, they try to hide it. It's a little bit more courteous. But, I, oh, hello. I just, I don't find it, I don't know how to describe it. I find it grotesque oh, when people yeah. do that. Like, when they spit their foods out, it's bad table manners. That's Vincent. That's Vincent. Which one's Vincent? Oh! Shoot, I think that might have been my mother. Your mother? I think that might have been my mother that I just hung up on. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I could have oh, answered it with my watch, oh, no. dang it. That's okay. Wait, which one is him? The orange guy, the oh. XID. <laughs> well, hello, Vince. That's my cousin, who's also in chat there. Oh, she's talking to my mom. Okay. My okay. mother's talking. Okay. Um, good, good. Don't call me, please, yet. Because <laughs> I'm doing a thing, but... <laughs> He's kidding. He's kidding. We're not doing a thing, per se. <laughs> yes. All right. Oh, do we want to? Cheers. Cheers. Dude. That's not bad, but that's weird. <laughs> I don't know if I like it. That's weird. The citrus part, again, really sugary, really good. The berry part, <laughs> cough syrup. And it's really weird because it's a bad balance. It's bad. Now this last drink... I don't know how it's gonna go because I've never tasted it. Don't do it the raw penne though. Don't do the raw. I've never done this raw, so I don't know what this Ooh. tastes like. <laughs> Jake, I could kill you. This right is now. a Korean drink. He's lucky he's taller than me because I could just wring out your neck. I was. We're gonna get eliminated from this channel just because we're so bad. <laughs> Ooh, that does not look. It's milk. Are you sure you want to drink it? He's I have a thing with dairy, so I'm just gonna do a little bit, but. What do you think? It's not bad, but it's not good. For some reason, I'm tasting a hint of coconut. No, that tasted like. I don't know why I'm tasting coconut. That was like melons and kind of like sour milk, kind of, but not really. It was really wow. weird. Again, though, the Mountain Dew, not so bad, but like almost no flavor. And then all this other stuff. It's, it's weird because you get the feeling you know it should be sour, but you can't taste the sour, only the sweetness. It goes straight through the acid on the candies. So. Choose your favorite looking one. This mystery berry. Excuse me. I am not sure. It looks like a lychee fruit. Well, but it's a, a blue berry. One oh, there is? Yeah, there is a blue one. What is it? Or it's purple, but... It says on the back of the bag what it is. Uh, sour gummy drops. That's not very helpful. Cheers. They're very hard. Yeah. Hmm. Captain Sparkles emotes. Oh. <laughs> um. Very nice. Wait for you. Well, I follow Captain Sparkles oh. too, so I have his emotes. Oh, his emotes. Gotcha. I will come out with custom emotes eventually. Sorry, this is just beginning stuff. So. I want to say it's not bad, but I think it's because it's the berry. Maybe that in theoretics it could be because it's a berry it doesn't agree with other berries because so far that strawberry ramenade didn't taste right. The voltage 
did not fully taste right. And neither did these berry gummies, honestly. They did, but they didn't, you know? Yeah. I think right. it's a berry that counteracts other berries. <laughs> Ooh. An affiliate. Care to explain? I'm 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 sorry. I'm kind of I'm kind of um, on a sugar high right now, so my brain's not really working right. <laughs> explain. Pour me more. While I prepare the next. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh man, that was the warhead. Oh, and my cousin says same. He doesn't understand. Or he's saying same like he wants it to happen to Same. Yeah, whatever, what affiliate means. Are you guys talking about marriage? <laughs> We're so, I'm sorry. Not to accuse anybody. We're not accusing. Candy. Yes. Yeah, we are trying a lot of assortments of candy right now. Twitch. Oh, Twitch affiliate. Twitch affiliate. Oh, like, gotcha. Like uh, someone from like, Twitch HQ. Oh, you know, no. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. That was my mother. She just texted me. Um, I, I bought him a handbook because... I'm sorry if this is too late to say this, but um, since we were engaged, we were actually talking about wedding plans, and I was supposed to bring a wedding planner and a handbook tonight. What the heck? And I totally forgot that... I totally forgot sorry. the handbook and the um, planner, so my mom just texted me saying that. Forgot, so... Whoops! <laughs> That's okay, we're doing this instead, and this is pretty fun, honestly. But I really advise staying away from berries at this point. Berry versus berry. This one tastes very... I'll read this next one, I'll let you. At least 500 total minutes broadcast in the last 30 days. At least 7 unique broadcasts based that last 30 days on average to... Okay. I think... I think I just ate a watermelon flavored sour punch heart. It's good, but um, no. Strawberry lemonade. I can taste it now. I can taste it. Um, it's good. But, but it's not great. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's not. It's not saying that it's not great, but um. Have y'all ever had strawberry pop tarts that you expect it to be good and they're not that good? Like you have, your expectations are like, cool, they're gonna come out of the toaster or you're just gonna eat them fresh out of the pack and when they're fresh, they're fresh. But they have that weird musty or kind of like stale flavor or texture because of the darn crust that always gets in the way. These licorice taste like oh, that. The cat's gonna be coming up here on the table again in just a moment. <laughs> it's like, it's like, Eating one of the strawberry lemonade flavors of these is like eating that one strawberry pop tart of disappointment. Sorry, I'm just moving your drinks to the camera. I don't even know which it. color it was. I think he handed me a red one, but it's really, they're it's all really red. hard to tell. Yeah, they're all red. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell which one he gave me, but you don't like strawberry? I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Don't do it with this, this berry stuff. It doesn't taste right. <laughs> so far, this berry does not seem to like other berries because everything I've eaten that's berry flavored doesn't really have a... It's weird because the citrus doesn't have a flavor at all. Sorry, but, question for you guys. See you later. It was really nice meeting you. It was, it was nice really meet nice meeting you. I got a question for those of you who are still watching. If I log into this account on my laptop, will it stop the stream? We're hoping not. Just before I log in, just curious. Excuse me. Oh, hi. Uh, hi, Ari. Sorry, I didn't even see you there. It's really close. Uh, I'm. Wait. I'm not gonna risk it. <laughs> That's how close she is, y'all. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk. Oh, it might. Darn I'm it. not gonna risk. Okay. Risk it then. Um, Sorry. Poop. There's a fourth the viewer. Now. Hello, fourth viewer. Sorry, we don't know who you are, but we appreciate. <laughs> if you want to know what we're up to. Alright, um, we have four left. Four left? I might pop one more of these. I don't know why, I just feel so unprepared. I might pop another one myself. We have... Hey, viewer. 
viewer, cousin. We have sour Skittles, <laughs> sour Airheads, sour Haribo, and toxic waste. Which we want we your do, opinion, I guess. Which on what we should, should we do next? These are these are crazy. I actually do think this is fun. We have this. Oh, he says Skittles. Skittles. Oh boy. Ari, don't touch my lime. No, let her lick it. See if she likes it. Oh no, that's so mean. <laughs> oh, it does kind of have an acid now that I've uh, that's why these uh Oh, yeah, they do these glycoproteins are really unfriendly after you've had like two or three of them Because I can feel it like I said earlier that weird fuzzy feeling that felt like carbonation on your tongue Um, it was cool at first when we had the first tablet, but we've gone through like three tablets now and I can actually feel my tongue burning a little when it grinds against the capsule. I can feel the roof. The roof of your mouth. <laughs> oh, sorry. I can feel the roof of my mouth. Burning? Like, stinging. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, my tongue is like not okay. It's so weird. Oh, we're done with our viewers. Guess how long we've been streaming for? How long? An hour? One hour, one minute, 18 seconds. That was a good guess. Jeez. <laughs> 21 seconds, 22 seconds, 23 seconds. <laughs> Just ignore him. He likes doing. Counting. This lemon though, this lemon, the lemonade. And the lime. The lime, the Mountain Dew even. The Mountain Dew was just phenomenal. But the berry flavored Mountain Dews, not so much. And this, this ramen egg, don't do it, don't. <laughs> that's, not, that's, not just a, that's not just a challenge, that's a warning. Ari's looking at the things here and she was like, Reaching out the... She's gonna touch my food again? Yeah. Alright, you touch my food, I touch your face. Sorry. Slightly aggressive. I know, that doesn't look good on the laptop either. They're like, Emily, what are you doing? Vinny's, uh, well, wait. See? <gasps> Ari, see, my see, lime! See, see, she's patting it. Ari! <laughs> um, looks like Vinny is saying that Mountain Dew, the blue, looks kind of good. It, it is? Well... She was just reaching out to more of it. It is? It is. But it's, it's a really but weird balance. Those. Not with the berries. It just looks good. It's my favorite flavor. I've always liked Voltage. I don't know why. I've always liked regular and... Uh, code Red. Oh, of course. True. When it's blue, it's supposed to be good. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you, I can't argue with that logic. Normally. <laughs> Normally, yeah. Blue is always good, though. Let's let's be honest. Like, why else would there like be blue candies? Blue raspberry Jolly Ranchers, blue raspberry Sprees, blue raspberry Sweet Tarts, Voltage. <coughs> Bless you. Excuse me. You Sorry. just know, you just know when it's blue it's good. That's just that's just logic. What about blue otter pops? Blue otter pops are bomb too. Just saying. I'm just saying that's logic. Well, mine is gone. Mine's almost gone. I can't mine it. <laughs> Faster than mine. I can I can feel like some of the roof of my mouth and stuff when it like grinds against the It was like uh I was telling him earlier, he bought me a jawbreaker like a couple weeks ago. And uh I was just licking this Jolly Rancher, or, or no, sorry, this Jawbreaker, until my tongue split open. And I know, I'm sorry, that's a little graphic. They're really good, but they're really sour. And the more you lick them, the more rough the texture will be. So when you're licking it, the grain of your tongue will like, it's against the grain. So I kind of split my tongue open without knowing it, and I really didn't know. But these capsules are almost like... Hey, she's eating it. <laughs> oh lord. These capsules... Kind of give you the same feeling of like when you have paper cuts on your hands, you don't know you have paper cuts, but if you put hand sanitizer on your hands, suddenly you're revisited by the paper cuts. This these capsules do that to the roof of your mouth. Cat <laughs> has zero chill. Cat <laughs> has zero chill. <laughs> Let go of it. Their claws are stuck to it. Oh shoot. Nope. Okay. Oh. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I love the... It, I don't know what's worse, that she's so entertained or the fact that we're easily entertained. <laughs> this could go... <laughs> this could go for a few minutes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, just knocks it off the table. <laughs> Pick your poison. I will, after I have one more bite of this wine. This is amazing, <laughs> sorry. This has never been so good. I can't imagine eating a whole lemon is what he's saying. Oh, oh you will though, if you try these berries. Yeah, oh. I've got, um. It's intense. You, like, you can tell they're supposed to be sour. <laughs> R.I.P, R.I.P. I've got four left. Rippy dippy. Um, it's weird because somebody did describe this in the previous YouTube video that he, that Jake had shown me, and I don't remember the YouTube user, but he did say, you can feel it, like it's supposed to be sour, Tyler but you can't taste it, and it's so true, it's so, I'm I can't take... believe I just bit into this and had like zero sensation. Oh, lemon. It's like candy. This is a real, hey. this is a real lime. We'd even, sorry Ari, we'd even cut into them, fresh, and they're like candy. These are almost better than the actual candy we're eating. They're sweeter, they're tastier. This is what I feel like a real Mountain Dew should taste like. Maybe even, I don't drink, but a margarita? Freaking awesome. Yeah, oh yeah, it's better, it's so much better. This is amazing. When you try Mountain Dew, just the like regular green Mountain Dew with this, it just tastes like straight sugar. It's impressive. You can't taste the limes in it. It counteracts the flavor of the limes. Uh-oh. She's talking a penny off the table. All right, all right. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> I try, I don't know, any of them. I'm gonna go with another lime. I'm just for That's a green apple. Never mind. I forget that they quit. I forgot that Skittles did that and that bothers me. Sorry. <laughs> I, I taste no sour. No, he's right. It's weird. It is a little weird. All right. We got two strips and one rock left. Okay, this is weird. With the Skittles, the sour Skittles. Um, tastes like regular Skittles. No, the citrus almost tastes even sweeter um, than when you're eating them without the Miracle Berry. Um, I don't know how to describe it because it's not just sugar. It's like a sweetness on steroids. I'm sorry that sounds really bad, but it really does. It's like, it's like it amplifies the actual sweetness of the citrus. And so um, you can't taste anything sour in the Skittles. Well, you can taste the fruit, for sure. And then if it's a citrus fruit, it amplifies the flavor a lot, potentially. I'd say phenol, that's almost like, it's almost like lemon skittled by the second power. All right. Black cherry, green apple, watermelon, or blue raspberry? Probably gonna try another, either watermelon or blue raspberry, you decide this time. Another watermelon? Here, actually, you know what? Blue Raz, do you want the watermelon? I'm doing a green apple. Because I love would. green apple. Yeah, of course he would. He likes them, I don't. I never have. I don't know why. I am not a fan Ooh, of green apple. Do the rock? No, but the, yeah, the, this is the rock. Oh, gotcha. Oops. Okay, We're saving the sour eyeball for last because those are the biggest. Oh, yeah. We already know what those would be like. Well, actually, no, that's a lie, isn't it? Um. Oh, they're harder to open than warheads. Wait, this is blue raspberry, right? I'm sorry, I chickened out. I don't want, I don't want the blue raspberry because berries and berries don't taste good and I don't know why. Um, Next, do a candy from other countries. Ooh, yes. <laughs> what, you mean like taste test other candies from other countries? Babe. We should totally do that, and I will totally dig up some of my favorite things because she just clawed that sour and then licked her claw, and, and, and like, like, oh, I miss.
missed it. Darn. Smart cat. Not really, but smart. I'm going to go with a watermelon just to play it safe because everything I've eaten, that we've eaten so far, if it's very flavored, it doesn't taste right. So. I'm doing the grindy. The rock. Wow. Just I get the roof of my mouth and the throat, but... I don't really get it in the throat, but I know what you're talking about. Um, oh. Don't oh. laugh. Don't laugh while sucking on these. Oh, they're acidic. Ooh. Yeah, that hurt. Oh, my cheeks are sore. Hey. Can you see my eyes watering? My eyes are, like, so watery right now. This is actually almost worse than a warhead. Oh man. Does the sourness wear off? Because the warhead wore off pretty quickly. Not these ones. These ones are like zots. Like, they just keep going? Yes. Oh man. Oh. I was so not prepared for that. <laughs> these ones actually seem to power through the berry a lot. They're stronger. Oh. Way stronger. My They're eyes... stronger than a, or, than a fresh lemon. I know, my eyes actually watered at that. You know what? Woo! Woo! <laughs> that is terrifying. <laughs> I need something to calm down that lemon. <laughs> or that... Apple. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. You clipped it. Oh, he clipped it. You can, like, screen cap... Like several seconds of a video. <laughs> he clipped he clipped something. What did you clip? <laughs> oh, that gave me heartburn. <laughs> <laughs> Vince, you should really try this with us. You should. We're gonna have to buy some more when I get paid and we're gonna have like a little family thing, like you know card we should games? Go, we should try some of that stuff in the Chinese market. Yes, but we're not doing it with this. No. No, not with the I was gonna say, like, this this is almost food abuse right here. It makes actually like go to the Chinese market and get foods to do the food from oh, yeah. other countries video and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Or we can just buy food boxes off Amazon once they get I'd paid. Be, I'd be cheating if I bought us like that Spanish licorice that I was just mentioning earlier. Because we already Excuse know me. it's licorice. And it's it's just licorice from Spain, so it'd be cheating. Oh my goodness. One of my old employee one of my old bosses at FedEx. He had. It almost gave me heartburn. Ooh. He had these um, green things that looked like these. Looked very close to this mm -hmm. green one here. Oh, I think it's called Finny. F I N I or F I N N I, like Finland. But it wasn't sour or anything like that. He said it was sour, but there were like little red flakes in it. I'm like, huh, that's strange. Chili flakes, yeah. He said it was from Mexico, and I'm like, he, I'm like, what is it? And he's like, it's a Mexican candy. Oh. And I'm like, cool. So I tried it. It dyed my tongue green. Yeah. And burned like a ghost pepper. Yeah, the can for they're, like an uh, hour. The red chili flakes. I'm I'm down for those honestly. It's going through. <laughs> Which color? Oh gosh. Pink, orange, green, or blue. Orange. <gasps> what? You just spit into the hazardous waste candy. And it's sour. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. A lot, if I'm being honest. Oh, gosh. Okay, that that's better, but... Woo! <laughs> you are not prepared. I was so not prepared for any of these. Peel that's off a, your own. Okay, I was going to say, that's a lot of candy strip right there. They're stuck together at the top, and I don't know why. I'm feeling like I'm at this point now that I know the different flavors and how they all taste. That's, I'm trying to play it safe. We have sour blue raspberry, sour orange, sour cherry, and sour apple. Well, knowing that the sour punch straws did not taste right, I have tried avoiding anything berry and just sticking straight to citrus fruit because that seems to be the only thing that tastes good with these berries, these miracle berries. So I'm sorry if I'm being a chicken. But orange and any other citrus fruit just seems to be the main go-to. They just taste great, and I don't know why. She's got orange, I've got cherry. If it tastes musty, at least we know he's the one that made the mistake. Just saying. Cheers.
No sour. You're right, no sour. But you have to tell me if your cherry does taste a little musty. Well, no. No? For like a, like a split second it did, but... Hmm. My orange isn't bad at all. Again, it's a... Uh, it's like tasting sweetness of citrus fruit, like to the second power. So, if you like citrus flavored candies, mm -hmm. like um, if you like orange or yellow starbursts, or like the citrus skittles, and you like them when they're regular flavor, if you like them and you like the sharpness, and your brain just goes, then it'll definitely be like that on steroids when you eat these. Your brain is gonna be like, wow, because I don't know how else to describe it. You like me? <laughs> Alright, Emily. I also love the yellow and orange. Like, everybody always says pink and red are the best, and I'm sorry, but that's a lie. That's a lie. My favorite have always been the citrus ones. Always. Blue or red? I don't know. Blue or red? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> don't make me choose. You choose. <laughs> Blue or red? I haven't even finished eating my orange strip. You choose. I'll take red. Okay. You take blue. Oh man. It's a lose lose situation at this point. It's a fun dip. <laughs> it's a fun dip, but like I said, the berries don't taste right. I don't know why. It's a lose lose situation. I've actually started opening how she opens them. It's just a. Uh... I don't know what this is going to taste like. You want to try it first? Nothing. I taste nothing. I <laughs> it, it, There's no flavor. It's bland. It's a bland stick. He's not lying. What is this? Usually they, like, what? Don't they usually have, like, a creamy flavor or yeah. something? These taste like paper. These are the fun dip sticks. And oh, they usually Vinny taste, says like, he chooses blue. Oh, darn, Vinny, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll have to save some for you. Yeah, oh my goodness, we do, don't we? Holy smokes. Oh, dude, we do. I am, I'm gonna go straight for the fun dip. Yeah, I'm... I'm getting a mountain of dip on my stick. Pardon that really weird reference, we're not sure what that came from. These do... Dude, no flavor whatsoever. It's these, just powder. These don't even taste sweet, even. I don't know why. They're not sweet, but they're not bad. They just, they're like paper. Drink the powder. Drink the powder. Vinny, Vinny you do say. Do you want me to, for real? Hey, hey. I'll do it. Up. Okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> I hit the back of my throat like a rocket. Okay. Is it sour, Jake? I'll Not I'm, I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out if it's sour. Okay. It burns my... It's burning my tongue. I can't taste the sour, but it's burning my tongue. You know? Actually, it is a little sour. A little. Um, it's really powerful. Especially doing that all at once. Um... Oh gosh, it's really acidic. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am so sorry. It's really acidic. You can feel it. Like, um, there's a burn there. Yeah, I feel the burn, but I didn't there's feel the sour. There's a burn there. You can't taste the sour, but you can feel the, the acid. I don't know if it's citric acid or if it's glycolic acid, whatever they said it was. Like. There's a feeling when it's supposed to be sour, and you can taste that it's supposed to be sour, but you can't taste the sour. So this fun dip, when, when we just downed it, it was just like, your mouth was just kind of on fire. Not as spicy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I feel like a lizard. <laughs> it, it was fun. It was fun, but it, it burns. It definitely burns. I still recommend avoiding berry flavored things while eating this this miracle in. Ooh. What did he say? <laughs> Is this the leak to the thing he saved? 
There's Ari. We have to go back on the chat on the phone to what? To see that oh, link. Oh, to see that link? Darn. It's not. Hold on. Yeet? Hold on. What do you want us to eat, Vinny? We'll no, I it. said yeet. Oh, you said yeet? Darn it. <laughs> I would totally eat whatever you want us to eat. Just kidding, sorry. <laughs> Ari, get out of the fun dip. She can smell it. I'm sorry. You guys are like looking right down my shirt. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You know what? Before I close the sh uh, stream down, I'll click on it and we'll close the stream down that way. Sorry if that's how we ended. <laughs> okay. Mm, oh, that does have a burn. The, the fun dip. Hit. I feel like I am getting heartburn or something. Mm -hmm. God, we're old. We're old people, man. This, this I'm glad I made you guys drink it. Looks <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, Vinny. Thank we you. did though. We did challenge accepted. It honestly, my cheeks hurt right now. Up next. Oh, she's chewing on a on a sucker stick. She's fine. It's not gonna hurt. No, no. Lady Gaga Oreo. No, I thought we were gonna do the rainbow strips. Oh. Berries, never mind. You can have one of the airheads. I don't know if I. You gotta bite into the cook to the cookie and the filling. Oh man, I hate you so much right now. It tastes like a normal golden Oreo. I taste no difference. Well, that may be true. It makes my molars feel more sensitive. That's weird. That does not look good. That looks very weird. Is what he's saying about those cookies. The cookies are weird even normally. Um. I'm sorry. Ooh, me. <clears throat> Your molars? That made my teeth hurt. It's like a cavity, and I'm not sure why. You wanna... Um, the cookies. The cookies aren't even... I need to save you some, because I heard from Jake that you and Genevieve wanted some. And so I saved a whole bunch for you guys that he gave me. Hey. Um... <laughs> Can you grab that from her? She's using right. an empty wrapper, and I don't want her to choke on it. No, yeah. Anyway, um... I heard from Jake that you and the... Uh, Wanted some cookies, so we saved some for you guys. But I dare you guys to try them normally before having these berries with them. I swear, they actually don't taste that good. <laughs> so I've had golden Oreos before, I think, at least once. They're not bad, but these cookies, I don't know if you've ever had those, um, thank you. They're like um, little Pillsbury cutout cookies or whatever. The ones with those like Halloween, you see them in the freezer aisle. The ones that have like little Christmas stamps on them. And when you bake them, you see them in the commercials all the time. The pink Oreos actually taste like those. Oh. We will. We will. And you know what? We'll, we'll keep you posted for when we do. Yes, we will. Yes. Bye. See you. What was the salute for? I don't know. <laughs> You're such a dork. Okay, um... <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Oh, That's really acidic. We still have two viewers and one of them. True. Okay. I was gonna say, because it says three on there. So these are Swedish Fish Candy Canes. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how I feel about this. He's just twirling it in his mouth, so I don't know what to think. But... I it tastes nothing. But as far as I know, everything that we've eaten that's berry flavored with this Miracle in Berry is be has been flavor counteracted. It either winds up really bad or it has no flavor. So. Yeah, I taste nothing. Do you taste nothing? Oh crap, he's right. There's there's like a maybe, maybe a... small a... hint of berry. Yeah. But there's like nothing there. It's just... There's just... It's just... Barren. It's bland as heck. There's no flavor in here. Dude, what? 
This like it removes the flavor from it, 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 the from entire... anything berry flavor. Yeah. Miracle berry does not taste like berry, but neither does. It. I don't know if that makes any sense. Anything that's berry flavored with the miracle berry, like loses its flavor, any sense of flavor whatsoever. Except for Romane. And he's gonna go for more, which. I am morbidly disgusted right now. Sorry. That's so gross. Poop. These candy canes taste like paper. <laughs> okay, we have two things left. The eyeballs. Oh no. And unicorn cotton candy. <laughs> you saw it and you were like, no. Please no. I'm sad. Are we really gonna go for it? Oh man. <laughs> Darn it. Good thing the cat's not on the table though, she'd knock the candy cane off. Oh, and there would be stickiness all over. My apologies. You're okay. No, I know. Oh, it smells fantastic. I miss this. Oh, that smells beautiful. It hurts my teeth. That's what I said about the Oreos. It hurts my teeth. It hurts to talk and eat at the same time. What do you taste? I taste nothing. I taste nothing either, but sweetness. Lots and lots of uh, papery sweetness. Um, ooh. Not good? It's not good, but it's not bad either. It just totally eliminated whatever cotton candy flavor was in those pellets. Cotton candy flavor, gone. It just tastes like straight up confectioner's sugar. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's all that are in there besides flavoring, but, but, um, this, this miracle in just completely took out any flavor. It's a total game changer. Most didn't even taste like cotton candy, even to the most minute sense that it just like straight up took everything away from those. Everything. You don't have to try these? I might. I wouldn't be surprised if the lemony part tastes good, but if the cherry stuff isn't, that I wouldn't be surprised. Did it taste nothing? Good? Really? I taste nothing. Mm. Okay, now I'm getting a hint of something, but it's not good, whatever it is. They do sort of taste lemony, but he's not wrong. There's not really a flavor. It's weird. It's so weird. The cherry is coming through, and that's not, and that's the flavor that's not tasting good. Yeah, I don't know why, but um, this miracle berry doesn't seem to get along with other berries. Like no matter what we've eaten. Um, I really don't know why, but I did not care for sour punch straws. They might taste good without the berry, but with the berry, they tasted, they literally tasted like strawberry pop tarts of disappointment. I'm going to call them that now every time I look at them. Strawberry pop tarts of disappointment. Alrighty. Yeah, you're Want to see something wild though? Biting into this and not squinting is like my favorite thing now because I it's it's almost like a superpower. <laughs> He's laughing. Well, sorry, I thought you were laughing. Eating these berry pellets, these capsules, almost really does feel like a superpower because I can chew into this and not squint, not bat an eye. See? I don't know why, but I was like hesitant when I was first going into bite and one of those. It's so sweet. It's ridiculously sweet. 
when I was first going in to buy one of these, I was like, this is going to be sour and I'm not going to like it. And no, you I can get into feel, it and I'm like... You can feel that it's supposed to be sour. You can. But it doesn't taste like oh, it. Oh, I got a mouthful of seeds. Oh, boy. It's so weird, though. This is... This is undeniably delicious. Now, she may not try these because she doesn't like the berry, but I'm going to be a good sport and I'm going to try this. You know what? Throw me under the bus. I'll try it then. There's two here. Good. Cheers, Nate. <clears throat> yeah, they don't taste much. Hmm. No, there's a little hint of berry in there somewhere. It's not bad, but it's not impressive. Yeah. Like, it's, it's good. It's good. But it's not wow factor. Yeah. I'd say it's at least better than these, uh, these fun dip sticks. Yes, for real. These taste like confectioner's sugar or paper, and that's just it. Just sweet confectioner's paper. I mean, confectioner's sugar. Sorry. <laughs> Paper. Paper and sugar. Hold on. 